On Tuesday, The Washington Post reported the Nationals offered outfielder Bryce Harper contract extension on the final day of the final homestand of the 2018 season. Harper declined and opted for free agency. Here's how much the Nationals offered, which now establishes a baseline for teams bidding for Harper. Per the Washington Post's Chelsea Janes, Nationals' offer to Bryce Harper was roughly $300 million for 10 years, so an AAV of $30 million, according to multiple people familiar with it. No opt-outs. Also keep in mind, this is $100 million or more, below where Scott Boras will likely set his initial asking price. Harper is one of the youngest and most decorated free agents he will ever represent. He was always going to shoot high. Important on Harper, both sides considered this a respectful offer. It wasn't insulting. It was unprecedented. That the Nationals made an offer establishes their interest in keeping Harper but does not necessarily clarify the extent of that desire. They could, if they wish, make an offer they know another team will beat, a move that would make them appear interested but not require actual commitment. Dot, dot, dot. For years, those within the industry have speculated what it would take to lock down Harper, with no grand consensus other than he will likely command more than the 13-year, $325 million contract Giancarlo Stanton agreed to with the Miami Marlins in 2014. Harper has indicated that he would like that kind of long-term deal. The Athletics' Ken Rosenthal analyzes the Nationals' contract offer, some thoughts on not known if it had deferrals to lower present-day value. Nats could still be fallback if Harper does not get what he wants, if they are willing to wait. Bar now set for other interested teams. Harper will beat Stanton's $325 million. 21 things learned at GM meetings The Yankees are expected to make a run at Harper. Adding fuel to the fire, his agent, Scott Boras, floated the idea of Harper playing first base in 2019. General Manager Brian Cashman was asked Tuesday about the concept of Harper playing first base, per NJ Advance Media's Brendan Cuddy, on Harper playing first base. What Cashman said, do I think Bryce Harper could play first base, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously he's extremely talented and athletic. What he really said, earlier in the day, Harper's agent, Scott Boras, said that Harper could pick up first base. Cashman wasn't going to be baited into fanning the flames of the Harper to Yankees hysteria that will still undoubtedly grip the fan base at some point this winter. Mike Rosenstein may be reached at mrosenstein at neadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Rosenstein73. Find NJ.com on Facebook.